Next up, Russ and I are going to see if the Reservoir Dogs 4K was worth the wait. And why do I got to be Mr. Pink? So, Russ, we're back with another 4K comparison, this time with the film that everyone's been waiting on to find out, is it worth the upgrade? Is this latest Quentin Tarantino 4K going to live up to the hype? Is it bad? There is a lot of reviews out there already, incredibly complimentary about the you know, restoration of the picture and how it just kind of breathes new life into it. And I have to say that I completely agree. So we're here to just kind of look at a few screenshots just to show sort of what that transfer looks like. If you want to see a full review of this, you can head over and check out our review video for Reservoir Dogs. We kind of talk a little bit about the transfer there too. Um, but here we're just going to take a look at some screenshots. You ready to look at some screenshots, Russ? I was born ready, Matt. Juicy, Junior. Real juicy. <laughs> the classic scene where Joe Cabot's talking to Mr. White, giving him a couple of details about the upcoming caper. So now here's the reveal, Russ. Are you ready to see what this is going to look like in 4K? I'm pumped. Here we go. This is the Blu-ray, and here's 4K. Juicy, Junior. Real juicy. Holy shit. Wow. Look how incredible that looks. I joked about the peach fuzz. Like, look at it on his head here in the Blu-ray, and now look at it in the 4K. You can see how fine those hairs are. That peach fuzz is pronounced. Look at his ear hair, his ear dude. Hair. Holy <laughs> crap. Here's a picture of Marvin Nash. Marvin Nash. Pretty gross. I guess, oh, has his ear been removed? Yeah, so his ear's been removed here already. And here's that ear removed in Blu-ray. And let's see what his, his let's see what his eardrum looks like in 4K. Look at that. Damn. Look at that. Look at the pools of blood on his face. Boom. Damn. I mean, we've watched it, but just doing the comparison, the back and forth, I didn't realize it was this drastic. Just like the um, the sharpness of the the his pores on his face, the sweat. Lawrence Tierney hasn't beaten the ear hair department, but I mean. Here's the iconic scene where Mr. Orange has to kill a civilian, and you can tell he really that really puts him off. Here he is in 4K. Damn, it's just another, it's just a knockout, man. I mean, really this is, is just, look at the detail on his sunglasses. And that's a perfect transfer, too, because when you, it still has shadows. It's still dark because that would be the angle we're seeing at the sunlight hitting him. But it's so natural now. Thank you, my man. This is the scene where Mr. Orange is reciting his story that he's got to tell once he goes to the meet. And I'm kind of curious to see how colorful this kind of becomes since it's all, you know, backdrop is arguably graffiti. the most colorful shot in the film. <laughs> so here it is in Blu-ray looking a little old and drab. Here we go in 4k. Whoa, damn. It looks like do the right thing now, dude. Look at that color. Look at the bricks that you'd never saw. You just like one bit. It looked like one big blob before. Now you can see the individual bricks he's standing in front of. Um, and then we'll close out with this, Truly iconic scene of the three gentlemen here after they've opened up the trunk to reveal Marvin Nash before they beat beat him to near death. And here's them in Blu-ray, and here they go in 4K. Looks great. I can't get over that. Yeah, it's really it's quite the difference in every every single way. Every detail is is brought forward here. It's kind of turned me into a believer. I know I've really dogged on this release for a little while, and I ended up getting the steel book, and I'm super happy to have picked this up. For everyone out there, definitely your your mind should be made up. Reservoir Dogs looks incredible. If you've picked this up already, let us know what you thought too. Um, let us know. Comment below. Really definitely the best it has ever looked. Ever. Ever.